Hey what's going on guys my name is Jim Fahad in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create vertically aligned social media icons using Elementor page builder and to achieve it we don't need any additional plugin or add-on even we don't need to do any custom CSS for this so let's now have a look how we can create this very easily using Elementor page builder from scratch all right so first I'm taking a section and let's take a single column structure I'm giving it a minimum height and let's set it 100 pH. Also here I'm giving it a background color. So from here background type I'm giving it a global background color that's black blue. Okay now here I'm searching for social icons. Here we go just drag these social icons inside here our column. Right now we can see only three icons but here I'm adding a few icons. Alright you know these basic steps like you can make the shape to square or circle you can align them left or right or centered also you can do all other basic styling from under style tab you can increase or decrease their sizes from here you can adjust the padding from here also the spacing from this place but right now here have a look if you increase the rows gap nothing happens but we will have a look on this option a uh, moments later so for now I'm giving it to default value alright so here is the main trick to make the social icons vertically aligned. To do that let's now go under advanced tab. Now scroll down and open the positioning tab. From here first of all have a look. The width I'm setting it to custom and if we give the custom width more like 200 or 300 or let's give it 500 plus. Right now you see they are aligned horizontally but if you want to make them vertically aligned then you start reducing the custom width from here. You see there are now two lines. If we decrease it more you see their width is decreasing but to remove all the confusions I'm making the custom width to zero and now have a look if you want to add some spaces in between these icons right now just again go under style tab and from here if you now increase the rows gap from here you see the space is increasing in between the icons all right now again go under advanced tab because I wanna show you something that's related to positioning so again open the positioning and from here let's open in the position and I'm making it to absolute so from here you can adjust their horizontal or vertical orientation so now if we want to add some space at the left of these icons we need to drag this offset because here you see it's the horizontal orientation and it will start from left because the settings is set to left so if we now increase the offset you see there is a space adding at the left also if you select the horizontal orientation to right and then if we start increasing the offset you see the offset is increasing from the right side all right so for now i'm keeping it like this and also you can adjust the vertical orientation from this place by default it's from top but you can adjust it from bottom so here i'm selecting it bottom and then you can adjust the offset like this. You can also adjust the vertical orientation from top. So you can just increase the offset from here or decrease the offset from this place. But I want to keep it at the middle of the page. So here I'm decreasing the offset a bit more. So for me it looks perfect. Okay let's now also have a look if it's responsive or not. So to check it let's click here on the responsive mode and first I'm going to the tablet view. So you see you can adjust everything for tablet device because here after the offset of the vertical and horizontal orientation you can see here the little tiny tablet icon. So you can specify any offset only for the tablet device like this. Also you can adjust the vertical orientation as well and not only that if you want to adjust the in between spaces of the icons for tablet device then you can go under this tile tab and here you can see also rose gap has the little tiny tablet icon so whatever space you will give here it will only be applicable for tablet devices and you know you can do the same adjustment for the mobile device so i'm going to the mobile device right now similar like the tablet device you can adjust their rows gap or you can adjust their positioning from these places and now one last thing if you want to keep these social icons vertical on your mobile device then you can keep it like this and adjust their width or any other styling from this place but let's say if you don't want these social icons vertically aligned on mobile device then you can disable it from mobile devices so to do that here from positioning you can see the width and here is the little tiny mobile 
icon so only on mobile device i'm setting the width to full width 100 percent also from here horizontal orientation i'm setting it to zero for mobile device also the vertical orientation to zero for mobile devices also you can adjust their size from under style tab for mobile devices so here for mobile device i'm setting the size to 24 so they can adjust within one line also here i'm reducing their padding also i'm reducing their spaces from here all right so only on mobile device the icons are now horizontal on the tablet view they are now vertical also on the desktop view we have set them to vertical aligned so that's basically it when you are happy with it just click on this green update button to save your work i hope you have learned something new today if you like it please give this video a big thumb up and don't forget to subscribe this youtube channel also press on that bell icon to get notified before anyone whenever i will upload a new video on this youtube channel and if you want me to help you on your wordpress project or elementor project then you can contact me through my website that's jimfahaddigital.com i will try my best to help you personally once again thank you so much for watching this tutorial i will see you on the next video for now bye bye